Uh, sons, what's poppin'? It's your boy from Kids Moon Star coming at you guys with your March 7th through the 14th tarot reading, okay? Hopefully you guys are doing fantastic. If so, let me know down in the comments down below. Um, these are the weekly readings, so they don't have to resonate at all. They're just random and extra messages. Um, your overall month reading, your month March reading is out. Um, if you guys want to check that out, okay, that's your love tarot reading. This will be for anything this can apply to friends, family members, mental health. It can even apply to career or any other aspects of your life, okay? So we're gonna do Aries, then Sagittarius, then Leo. Um, I will have a timestamp down below for everybody to look at it and at the end we're going to be doing a fire collective as well okay so let's take a look and see what's going on three cards for aries three cards for sagittarius and three cards for leo what messages do we got going on for the fire signs march 7th through the 14th three cards for aries three cards for sagittarius and three cards for leo last shuffle let's take a look and see what's happening here all right let's take a look all right three cards for aries one two three hello don't run away from me three cards for sagittarian and three cards for Leo. Okay, let's take a look here and see what's popping, baby. Aries, uh-oh, what's happening here? The Emperor in reverse, the Devil card, and the Hierophant, okay? For some of you here, you're feeling as if you're losing control in regards to your emotions. You may be feeling like you're not grounded in your emotions and that you're going absolutely crazy, okay? You may be noticing that your anger is a lot more heightened than usual. You can blame that due to Mercury, okay? But please try to ground yourself during this time. Don't allow your anger to get the best of you. You may be acting out towards other people, or there may be something that's weighing heavy Heavy on the conscious mind that's making you feel some type of way it could be a relationship okay um for some of you here you may find yourself getting out of a toxic relationship if so that's good um but for those of you that are bound to toxic relationships right now is not the time to give in okay because the emperor in reverse is like giving all control away giving all your power away okay you may be giving all your power away to a specific person and if you are in a relationship in which you are giving all your power away to a person this is a time to get out of that relationship okay because that's very toxic that's not beneficial to you and that can turn abusive quite quickly okay so for some of you if you're dealing with that please know that you need to regain your power don't let anybody steal your power okay is the energies that i'm seeing present now Another way that I can look at this too is that for some of you here, um, with the Hierophant energy, of course, that's an energy of a teacher, an energy of learning lessons. You have, may have learned lessons from really difficult times, so you may be going through some difficult times right now, learning certain things that are going to benefit your life as well, okay? Let's pull some clarifiers and take a look here, clarifying the Emperor in reverse for Aries, March 7th through the 14th. Yeah, and the moment that I'm speaking on this, I'm really feeling drained, like my energy is just getting shot down, getting shot low. If this is you surrounding yourself with some you need to go because two of cups the emperor card in reverse and the two of cups is a clarifier some of you here are in a relationship that you don't even want to be in some of you here are involved with somebody that you don't even want to be involved with you're just giving in to that point and if you're not happy with that person you need to go do not surrender yourself to somebody you are not happy being with right now okay aries all right i feel like this is going to resonate very heavily with an aries moon for some reason so take that energy okay now also Two of Cups can be self-acceptance. For some of you here, you may be letting yourself go. You may be feeling heavily insecure right now in the current moment, letting yourself go. You may not be focusing on your diet, watching what you're eating. You may stop going to the gym. You may have a lack of motivation to pursue whatever it is that you want to pursue right now. You need to get your vibes back up and regain that energy. Clarifying the Devil card for Aries here, March 7th through the 14th. Let's take a look. The Queen of Swords. Whoever's in your life that's causing a lot of harm, whoever's in your life that's causing a lot of toxicity, or whatever thoughts you have in your head that are causing you harm, especially if you're going through something personally, you need to cut shit out right now. Whoever the devil is, kick the devil out of your energy. It could be a Capricorn here or an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarian. But if there is somebody affecting and hindering your life in a very negative way, you need to cut this person out and look the other way and do not look back towards this person is the energies that I'm seeing here, okay? Now, like I said, you may be feeling binded to this person. You may feel as if you have to be there as if you have no control but you must remember that you have control over everything okay it's time to walk away when people start abusing their power clarifying the hierophant card for aries 7 to the 14th and the empress card okay yeah the empress card and the high priestess right now for some of you here you may be in this position right now because you have to grow and this is a learning experience so like for those of you that are in bad relationships or bad friendships or whatever it is, it can even be family, okay? You could be surrounded by a toxic family member, a toxic boyfriend, toxic uh, girlfriend, toxic best friend, whatever it is. Sometimes it's a learning experience, okay? Because the people that get attracted to you are usually from what you feel inside. Whether it's consciously or subconsciously, it's something you feel from within. So 
right now may be a time to start treating yourself better, to start recognizing what your worth is, to start doing the inner work and never allowing somebody to take away your energy, to drain your energy and bring you into a very negative state, okay? Never allow anybody to do that shit to you, okay? Advice for Aries, let's take a look here. Now, of course, it doesn't have to go love. I'm getting mainly love here. It can apply in any other areas of your life. If it resonates towards any other areas, please apply that to you. If it resonates not at all, then drop the message, okay? Now, clarifying, or not clarifying, sorry, messages for Aries, advice for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, March 7th through the 14th, any advice for what got going on for Aries? Let's take a look. Ace of Pentacles, Five of Wands, Two of Wands. Choose yourself, stop choosing other people, period, okay? Two of Wands to the Five of Wands, okay? I think that you're in an energy in which you've been waiting for a lot of people, five minus two, three. So with the three of wands energy here, I'm just doing a bit of subtraction. This is my thing. With the three of wands energy, I feel like you were a person who was waiting to be taken care of for a long time. Uh, you are waiting for somebody to come in and save you from whatever it is that you're going through, only to recognize that the people that came into your life made things worse, uh, which is rough, right? Because whenever people entered your life or what, whoever this person is that entered your life, they cause a lot of havoc. They're kicking a lot of shit up. And especially during Mercury retrograde, it's only getting more more rough for you right now with the two of wands energy here choose yourself because the moment you choose yourself the universe is going to give you what you need the universe is going to give you what you desire and the universe is going to give you an out to this toxic ass relationship friendship family member whatever it is this toxic scenario there will be an out to it okay so the moment you choose yourself you choose to realize and recognize that you're worthy and you're worthy of living a good life and you're worthy of being surrounded by positive amazing and beautiful people then you will get that from the universe so you have to recognize your worth okay all right Whew, Aries, what the fuck, man? Hopefully you guys get your shit together uh, in a very good way. Uh, I'll keep you guys in my prayers. For those of you that are going through this, I'll keep you guys in my prayers, okay? Let's take a look and see what's going on for the Sagittarians. Hello, hello. Hey, baby. Sagittarians out here living their best life. Of course, we got the Temperance, the Lovers, and the Ace of Wands. So you could be dealing with another Sag or possibly a Gemini. Now, with this beautiful card being present, you have a lovely connection with somebody that makes you feel whole, somebody that makes you feel complete, somebody that nurtures the soul, baby, okay? Woo! Passion is out in this bitch. My God, for some of you, you may be coming to a recognition, um, a recognition, sorry, that there's a certain person that you may have never thought they were meant to be with you, but now you realize they're meant to be with you. That could be happening for some, but let's take a look here. Overall, it looks like you're in love and you're having fun. Oh, baby, and you're stable, okay? You be living with this person, together with this person. Let's clarify and take a look. Clarifying the lovers for Sagittarius. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus, March 7th through the 14th. This is a week of love for you, boo. Let's take a look here, okay? Hello, Queen of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. So whoever you're connecting with here, clarifying this energy, um, you're dealing with a person here who's so interested in you, okay? I'm letting you know that right now. Sagittarius, there, um, you may start noticing that a lot of people are being drawn to you this week, especially the single Saggies. There could be a lot of guys that are hitting you up just to, you know, have the have the ha dump a dump with you. Somebody wants to have sex with you, things of that nature. So you may um come to an acknowledgement or you may see that um there's a lot of guys that are around your energy that are just looking for sex, especially for the Sagittarius's that are on Tinder. <coughs> Excuse me, you're gonna pick up on a lot of guys that are trying to fuck, okay? Uh, moving forward, carrying on, clarifying the Ace of Wands for Sagittarius. Let's take a look. Hello, and the Four of Cups, clarifying the Temperance. All right. Let's take a look here and see what's happening. Ace of Swords, okay? So, from what I'm seeing present here, Sag, there is somebody in the background. Now, I can see this two ways, so give me a second here. For some Sagittarians, you have somebody in the background that's extremely jealous of you because you're with somebody else now. Whether you're in a relationship or not, you're happy with somebody new. This can be an ex or this can be a best friend. Whoever this is that's in your energy, it does feel very strongly, though, that somebody's jealous, okay? They are jealous of seeing how happy you are. They are jealous of seeing how well you're doing. And they're jealous to see that you're in love because they were wishing that they were getting that same energy back towards them, okay? So you may be ignoring somebody right now. This may be somebody that was a part of your past that you're no longer interested in, that with the Ace of Swords, you had to let them know very openly that, hey, I'm sorry, I'm not interested in you in that way, and I'm moving forward. And, you know, for some... You could have kept this person as a friend or kept this person in your life. And uh, if this person is in your life, whether they're consciously or unconsciously doing it with the Queen of Wands, I almost feel like they're throwing evil eye on your happiness. They're throwing evil eye on your relationship because they're jealous that you aren't giving them that time. You aren't giving them that energy. So for some of you Sagittarians, be really mindful of the evil eye because if you're very happy right now, you're living your best life, please be happy and live your best life. But please, it is very important to not try to show everybody everything that you're doing. See, like, you know, for example, 
when we're our happy as hell and we're doing awesome things, the first thing we want to do is jump on Instagram and show everybody. And it's not always about a flex thing. It's not always like, yeah, we want to flex on everybody. It's kind of just like, hey, man, let's spread the positive vibes. But you see, not a lot of people will pick up on like, hey, let's spread the positive vibes. They'll pick up on, wow, look at you living your best life. I'm laying in bed and I feel like shit. And whether they do it purposely or not, they'll still give you that negative energy, which will be transmitted to you, which can cause in your life an area of misfortune, an area of unluckiness, an area of just tragedy, okay? So a lot of people do it every day. A lot of people give other people the evil eye every day without even knowing that they're doing it. So that's a message within itself. Even if, the, excuse me, even if this reading doesn't resonate, that's a message within itself to be mindful of how you think and what you're thinking about other people as you're viewing their life, okay? Try to not ever be jealous. Try to not have eyes of jealousy, eyes of negativity, all that stuff. When people are happy, be happy for people, period, okay? Advice for Sagittarius, let's take a look. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Sag, March 7th to the 14th. Hello. That's a lot. Knight of Cups, King of Cups, and the Five of Cups. Jesus Christ. For some of you here, um, you can be getting over a certain grief, okay? Um, you can be getting over a um, past relationship or somebody within your family that may have passed. Um, I don't predict death, so I'm not saying nobody's passing from the 7th to the 14th. This means it already happened. It's a passing energy. So with the uh, Five of Cups there, you can be griefing something, a family, an animal, something like that. Um, with the King of Cups to the Knight of Cups, I am seeing that you're moving forward in regards to your love life. If you're recently dating somebody or if you're talking to somebody, that relationship is expanding and that relationship's moving forward. Um, I'm also seeing that right now is a time where if you're happy with somebody, keep rolling with it, okay? It is not a time to overthink. It is not a, it is, excuse me, not a time to have fear and it's definitely not a time to have any sort of space for negativity so if you're currently talking to somebody Sagittarius keep talking to them allow things to happen don't overthink don't worry don't have anxiety kick that shit to the curb okay um, I'm also seeing that for Sagittarius's that are in very trusting relationships and very happy relationships just do not let negative energy take you away especially if people are giving you the evil eye right now is the time to protect yourself okay for those of you you can purchase evil eye charms like I have over here, you can purchase the evil eye charms. Um, you can also do a bunch of protection spells if you guys want to, you know, look those up. Uh, you can also pray to Archangel Michael too for protection, which will help you a lot as well. Okay. All right, Saggies. Hopefully you have a lovely week though. Honestly, it is a lovely week. Temperance, eight, temperance, ace of wands and the lover's card. I mean, seriously, that's awesome. That's nothing but a week of love, a week of passion, a week of positivity. It's just be mindful of the people that are around you. Try not to show everybody your best life because some people aren't happy for you like you're happy for you, okay? Carrying on, let's take a look here for Leos. Let's see what's happening. Leo, baby, what's going on? Okay, this, oh, goddamn. The Sun card, hello, well, you're popping out, Leo. The Sun card, the Seven of Swords, and the Six of Swords, okay? Let's take a look here and see what's happening. Somebody's gonna spill the truth. Seven minus one is, or seven minus six is one. So there you go, from the seven to the six to the ace. So whatever's happening, the truth is being revealed this time. Um, you may come to recognition that somebody in your energy has been deceiving you. This could have been a person cheating on you, which is now coming to light. Um, this also could be that somebody is pretending to be something they're not. Whereas, for example, somebody in your energy can be pretending to be happy, or Leo, you can be pretending to be happy right now when you're not happy. But let's take a look and clarify deeper and take a look at what's going on here. So clarifying the sun card for my Leos, let's take a look. Let me flip that over real quick. Sorry about that, guys. Clarifying the sun card for my Leos. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. March 7th through the 14th. All right. Hello. Four of wands and ten of cups. Okay. So for some of you here, you guys may be very happy and very stable in a relationship. Okay. Therefore, that's why you guys are happy and you're going through a happy period. Which, if so, that's awesome for you guys. But clarifying the seven of swords about it, though, because now that's the downfall of it. Let's take a look. Queen of swords. Wow somebody left and you didn't expect it that's the energy that i'm seeing here because it was like we were just so happy like we were the ten of cups we were the four of wands we were so happy we were doing absolutely fantastic why you know why just randomly walk away so person you're dealing with or this can go vice versa for the cross watchers but person you're dealing with randomly runs away walks away um and leaves you hurt so why did you ghost me why did you walk away from me okay uh clarifying the six of swords here 
And yeah, right now you're leaving somebody in the dust because it's a missed opportunity. Now, whoever you're connecting with here, Leo, they could have cheated on you or just randomly ghosted you um, is the energies that I'm seeing. I don't know why I'm getting love for all you guys today. So I guess love is a very important aspect right now, fire signs. But Leo, from what I'm seeing, it's just like whoever you're connecting with, you didn't expect them to do you this dirty because you thought everything was great. You saw that it was going somewhere. You thought it was going to a future. Uh, this person didn't have to cheat once again, but I am seeing that they left and it was almost like a sudden ending. It was pretty abrupt, not something you expected. Uh, so right now you're really hurt okay and not only are you hurt with the four cups energy right now you are really ignoring this person and shutting them out because it's like how could you do that to me okay advice for leo for the week of 7 through the 14th let's take a look here yeah three of wands reversed right now move forward from this person don't hold out on them don't wait for them keep pushing forward with any other people that you have here we go seven of cups you may be having options here as well so keep that in mind and also stay on top of your options leo let me tell you that right now okay so seven of cups here you may have a couple guys couple gals that are popping out for you right now and there may be people in the background that already want you okay six of cups for some you may be coming into alignment this week with a past life partner meeting somebody with your past life if you meet a new person and you feel super connected with them um literally out of nowhere that's a past life partner for some that can be an ex returning or this person returning back to you if so and they're returning back to you don't accept okay of course that's your choice the reason why i say don't accept is wait till mercury retrograde is over three of pentacles and one more card for leo here ace of wands and the six of pentacles awesome 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 okay so in regards to advice for you guys right now is a time for you to look forward look ahead and let this past go leave this person behind you is what i'm seeing um and leave the situation behind you okay for those of you that are in love with this person and wish to reconcile if reconciliation is a thing of course you are allowed to do it but make sure that you leave the past behind and you are ready to move forward with this person from what I'm seeing right now, with the Three of Pentacles, um, there's definitely new partners coming in for you here, especially with the Six of Pentacles. There is a new person that's entering your life that you may feel is like your other half. That's why I do feel like it's a past life connection that's coming back to life, okay? I will say, you are going to feel a spark with somebody new here, okay? So, this person that recently left you and hurt you, they're not going to matter much anymore because somebody new is about to come in and really excite you okay and when i say excite you they might just be a freak in the sheets leo that's all i'm saying baby okay so good energies good vibes we got going on here okay all right leo awesome week ahead even though we got some really rough things going on um it's turning out for the best and you know as i always say when one door shuts another door opens and what's good about it is is that the door that opens for you is usually a way better and more positive door than you can imagine okay let's take a look at the fire collective aries sagittarius and leo sun moon rising and venus signs March 7th through the 14th. Let's take a look and see what's happening. Harry Sagittarius Leo, Sun Moon Rising and Venus signs. March 7th through the 14th. What messages do we got going on for the overall fire collective? Harry Sagittarius Leo, Sun Moon Rising and Venus. March 15th through the 14th. Alright, let's take a look here and see what's happening for the collective. Alright. Excuse me. Hold on, baby. Ooh! Hello, four cups, or sorry, four of wands. Let's take a look and see what's happening here. Yeah, exactly. That's really what it is. So for all the fire signs, from what I'm seeing here for you guys, it's all about you are about to go through a very painful experience to reap the benefits of a beautiful experience. Meaning that many of you here are about to close out a cycle with somebody that is no longer meant to be in your life, unfortunately, okay? No matter how much you love them, something new is coming and someone new is coming. So from what I'm seeing here, this is about, you know, you and another person no longer feeling the passion, no longer feeling the spark, and are ready to exit a cycle as new love is working into its life right now and coming towards you into your life right now. As I'm also seeing, of course, when we're talking about new cycles, Cycles, ace of wands these are new beginnings new cycles new partnerships coming in for you okay and of course we have to keep in mind that your free will is at play so for the new people that come in for you you do not have to uh be in a relationship with them you do not have to be in any sort of partnership especially after some of these breakups that may occur for many of you okay so you won't have to jump right into another relationship if you're not willing to but i am seeing that there will be stable connections and stable relationships that are coming for the long haul right now um where you are having new partners and new journeys are happening okay so this is going to be a new cycle in which you're entering in with new people um and you are going through basically the wheel of fortune the wheel of karma with them but it's not all negative when we hear karma we think negative it's not all negative it's actually quite positive and stability is here okay five of swords leaving lots of things behind like i said for many of you as general as it gets this can be leaving behind friends family members 
past people, whatever it is that you were dealing with, you're leaving things behind, which is good, okay? As we're entering new cycles for you guys. Awesome. So it can be a little bit of a rough week at the beginning of the start. You know, we're losing out on some things, we're letting go of some things, but now newer, bigger, better, and greater things are coming in for us, okay? I like the fire energy because when the newness comes, the fire signs get excited. They're like, you know what? My ex hurt me, but fuck my ex. We got something new coming in because fire signs are alive. They're passionate. They can feel the vibes. You know what I'm saying? So it's a great energy to have for you guys. Very excited for you guys with these new people coming in, these new cycles. It can even be new jobs. It doesn't always have to be people. It's just new experiences are coming in. And we really should enjoy these new experiences because they're actually quite beautiful, okay? Take care, Fire Signs. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you have a lovely week and I will catch you guys for your March mid-monthlies. Love tarot reading, all right? Peace.